I try to, you know, give them the best of both worlds. It's kind of hard to balance that music, though. Yeah. Because it's like you want to you wanna go positive. But they don't really be wanting to hear that. Bro. Nah, they don't want to hear they that. Really you you got to kind of code it with some negativity. Yeah, and, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. I had a rough, I had a rough childhood. You know, I, I, I went through the, I went through the, uh, the DCF stages, and I was the, I was the less fortunate cousin. I was the, I was the runt of the family. Yeah. You know, but my my. My my mental and my hustle separated all of us. Like when we grew older, mm. like um, but my upbringing was very like. Uh, then I'm a Virgo, so when we love, we gonna love you more than us yeah. too. So it's like I, it's a lot of it's a lot of like trauma. Just, yeah, t too much trauma, bro. Yeah. Too much hard like hard breaking and yeah. and too many lies, too many family, too many friends. You know, just too much stuff to the point where it's like I'm gonna last longer if I just be by myself. Yeah. You feel me? Because if when I when I get people around me, that's when stuff happens to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. You grew up without a father too, yeah. and you wrote like one of the first like things I've seen from you. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little younger, yeah. so one of the first things I've seen from you was a uh, letter to my daddy, which is one of yeah. you know you had that on on YouTube. And when I saw that video, I was like, yo, this dude is. Cause I'm I'm a Kendrick Lamar, I'm a lyricist fan, right, like right, so I like right. the Kendricks and the J Coles, right, and, right. you know and. As street as you are, you were like right. a, a lyricist, like a top, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I, that, you that, play that, on words is crazy. That, so that, that's like I don't know. I gotta I gotta outbeat everybody. Yeah, with that because mu a lot of people use music for like a way to get on. I use it as like a way to teach because where we from is like the blind lead the blind. We don't really have no no poet, no like no like no uh, no activist type yeah. of person. We don't got no Farrakhan's where we from. So it's like I know that's power. I got power with that in a lot of ways, especially in my little area. So I try to you know give them the best of both worlds. It's kind of hard to balance that music though. Yeah, because it's like you want to you want to go positive. But they don't really be wanting to hear that. Bro. Nah, they don't want to hear that. Really you you got to kind of code it with some negativity. Yeah, and, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. One of the songs you did that with, speaking on that, is um, uh, Ready to Die. You kind of did that yeah, with, with that one, bro, because it's like... Hard. He hard. It's, he he hard. said, <laughs> <He hard. laughs> no, we're going to be talking today, bro. We're going to talk about it all. So, like, with Ready to Die, it's a, it's a positive record. Right. Exactly. And, like, if people not paying attention to it, they might be thinking you're you talking on some gang violence and you're talking on some gun violence. Bro. Right. You know, you're talking to a younger person and you're letting them know this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Mm. And, and like, you know, that was one of those records where yeah, I was like, well, this dude has an intention. Like, your music is, you get something out of it regardless right, of what it is. Right, right. That soul food. Yeah. You talked about, like, the afterlife with it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I had the black eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You snapped. <laughs> Do you have, like, for your own, like, for your own path, does that, like, is that something that, that, that resonate with you? Like, the the possibility like the afterlife how do you look at things like that how do you look at death all the bigs look talked about death the right, biggie right, tupac right. it's like and you talk about it i i i i've seen it a few times you feel what i'm saying yeah. and it's like um it's scary so mm -hmm. it's like a lot of people that a lot of people that do like do that do the similar kind of content i do they kind of forget to tell them about that and a lot of them ain't really been through that to even talk about it but some people fortunate with capping with it. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. Some people you, uh, you'll listen to a record, yeah. and you'll be like, "What well, this boy had to <laughs> had to go through something," and then they don't even be that. Yeah. But um, I do believe in the life like after death, though. I do yeah. like spirit wise. Um, as far as like you dying, like I think I think your body just go physically. But mm -hmm. if you had like a touch on people, they gonna feel you spiritually. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.